Hello everyone, it's PyGuru's site and today in this tutorial we are going to learn how to solve Google reCAPTCHA v2. Okay, now this is a CAPTCHA method provided by Google which you most of you have already seen on the websites. So we are just going to learn how can we solve it in Silverbullet. Now for this I have a target website which is appsumo.com. I have a credential over there like this the username and password and I'll be using to CAPTCHA to solve it. But before solving it, let me just go to the login page. And here, I'll right click and click on inspect. And then I'll go to network tab. Okay. So I'll type email and password. How to identify if your website has recapture v2 or v3. Basically, this you if you are able to see the this protected by recapture, it's a recapture. Okay. A v2 version 2. Also, you will see in here, like, uh, when I will make the request, you will see uh, a request which has written API v2 like kind of thing. I will show you just wait a second. So, if I click on login, see this reload k equals. So, this is the recapture v2, okay. Whenever, wherever, if you find a uh, reload, uh, this question mark k equals some value, uh, just check the URL. And here you will find that this is API 2 for the V2 version. So we have to solve this. Okay. Now, if I go to doc, this was the request which was made. Okay. Uh, which we have to imitate in our syllabus. So the payload is a CSRF middleware token, login, password, and recapture. So, login I know, password I know, recapture we have to find out solution and CSRF middleware token, it should be there on the login page itself. So, let's see how can we do it. So, first of all, what we will do. Okay, so remember we need four things. Okay, CSRF middleware token, login password and recapture. So, I'll just log out for once now. And click on the login page. So, this is the first website. And I'll just go to here request HTTP, HTTP request, and replace it with this. Okay. Now, let's try to give it a hit. And we have got the logs now. Okay, so we have got the HTML code. Now let's try to find out if it has CSRF middleware. So let uh, just open CSRF by type and hit enter. You will find that this has the CSRF token. Okay. This has also CSRF token. There's also this one. Uh, but we have to find out, uh, extract this one CSRF middleware token. Remember, there can be multiple tokens with the name CSRF, but what we want is CSRF middleware token because it was written in the payload. So we have to simply parse it. Let's do it. Go to parse, parse. For this, we'll be using the left string method. I'm doing it fast because we have already discussed all of these things in the previous tutorials. Here we will only focus on the recapture. Okay. So I hope you are not getting any issues following the tutorial. And here we have passed this. Now let's also pass the username and password. So we have also passed it here. Everything looks good. Now the only thing that we need to parse is uh, this recapture. Okay, so let's see how can we do it. Actually, it should be very easy. Okay, if uh, what 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 we need anything else or not no uh, one thing that we can do is we can just uh, click on append session but it don't doesn't work don't worry uh what i want to do is see whenever we will solve the recapture right okay what you have to do in order to solve it you will need a uh, one thing and that is this reload key value okay so if you go to headers or oh, here you can see uh, this payload also. You need this thing. 
this is the key okay this key will be different for each website so you need key for the website for which you are trying to solve it so how to use this first to solve the, this you have to go click on the plus then go to solve us then you have to click on the solve a recapture v2 here you see it says uh, it needs three things site key site url and site data uh, you can simply see the site key here okay so you can copy this and paste here also it should be inside here as well data key i guess or let's try with the recapture okay recapture here it is and value no recapture render here you can also see this is the key okay yes see here uh you can also search like this recapture site key okay in the html so this will give you the site key which is same okay so let us copy this and paste it here so this is the same thing you don't need to copy paste again and the second thing you need is the url of the page where you are trying to get the solve the recapture so see this is the login page where i am trying to solve the recapture so copy this and paste it here I just ran it once and here I have uh, see I have got the middleware token okay and I have got the recapture solution so you can just try running once and see if everything is working or not if not make sure you have uh, selected the correct capture service whatever you are using okay and you have pasted the correct API key so everything looks good here so now I'll try to make a login request so everything is here i'll just go to doc and i'll try to click on the login so this is the login and i will just right click on it copy and copy as curl base now i'll simply go to here and i'll type curl converter i'll just paste it here okay so just make it http instead of python so we have to copy this line and let us paste it in notepad so csrf middleware token let's replace it with our uh, variable name So what is our variable name for this pass okay we have not given any name so let's just give it esrf token okay and paste it here now this will be user and this will be pass And this is the recapture solution. So you have to give it your variable name again. Uh, here I have stored it in solution variable. So I'll just paste it here. Okay. Now everything looks good. I'll just copy it, paste uh, in a new HTTP request. And here we have to make it post data and we have to url encode it we need the url of the request so simply go to here where was zip this was the uh, no yes this was it okay so this url you need paste it here it's a post request and what else uh, if you want you can just copy paste the headers as well 
so leave the cookies and you can copy till accept from accept till user isn't and go to your custom headers paste it here you may need to remove few things like uh, yes this x ww form you are encoded since it's already here written let's just remove it and every other thing is okay now i'll try to start it once again and i'll see if it works or not how can we know if it works uh, basically you will get redirected okay so I should get something like this or I have to go to profile page I guess so, yeah everything looks good uh, let me search if I'm getting my name or something like that CSR RF middleware token so this was the post data that we made this is our uh, uh, value CSRF value this is the email password and this was the recapture okay so everything looks good let's try to find next input name let's try to go to our uh, this space profile space to check if it works or not Then only we'll be able to see maybe. Also, we can find the logout key. It's not there, but uh, let's try to find. Uh, go to this space. And let's hit run it once again. Okay, so yes, this is working, and yes, this is how you can solve the recapture. Okay, so again, I mean, uh, I will not complete the com uh, this config because we were only interested in the solution. Okay, here you can see we were getting account, account overview, all these things. You can make checks like this. Okay, so in order to uh, just uh say like if it's working or not you can add key checks like this so yes this is it uh again to solve the captcha you need two things the site key and site url okay and if any other thing re requested like csr middleware token just parse it and pass it to your login request and you are good to go okay so in the next tutorial we'll try to learn how to solve recapture with you thank you let's meet in the next